What's the crack, lads? We are back with our offensive genius player review and ultimate builds. Now, these guys, lads, Fritz, Alvarez, and Gakpo, holy moly, lads, they're, they're unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Fritz goes to like 104 as a winger. Like, it's crazy. Unbelievable stats. He's down his momentum dribbling and phenomenal finishing on Alvarez. Gakpo doesn't actually get a, a new skill or a showtime skill, but these are in a box of 150, 10 players for 900 coins. I do think that people will probably wait until Monday because you know it's coming Monday. We'll show you at the end of the video. But these cards are insane, man. Now, we're going to have a quick build and a quick talk through this as well. And I will have the proper build as well up on the screen that you can follow. But just to kind of talk through these players, especially for the likes of Ritz, okay? I was going to hide my webcam here a second because I am going to be blocking his booster and his positions that he can play. Insane card, lads. Honestly, look at this card with 31 levels and off the rip. He's got technique plus two. We're going to be giving him technique, another technique in the booster slot if you can give him that. Double touch, soul control. We're literally just going to be giving him flip flap and that's going to have advanced ball roll or um, advanced double touch. Really, really solid. First time shot, one touch pass, true passing, momentum dribbling. Extremely good card, lads. One of the best cards that they've released. Every card they release now is a meta man. But honestly, this is a fantastic card. I'm going to give you the quick build up on the screen just here now. And this is kind of what you can go for with his stats if you look here. So you're going to have 95 ball control, 97 dribble, 98 tight possession and 90 low pass. And then of course you're going to have the extra into uh, technique which is going to boost up his ball control, dribbling and tight possession. Tight possession is going to be 99, dribbling is going to be 98, ball control 96 and low pass around the 90 mark. Um, lofted pass is 80, 85 finishing, speed and acceleration and balance all into the 90s on incredible card. Honestly, it's just a, it's just a stacked card, lads. Um, and in terms of the player skills, as I said, you will see on screen there what full build I will give him, what training to do for him and what player skills to give him as well. If you want to copy that. And this is based on the champs, as you see there. We're also going to take a look at Julian Alvarez. This is with Southgate. We're just giving you a couple of random ones. You can see the build on the left there as well. I think the problem with Alvarez, lads, is that there are a lot of really high-class center forwards in the game. Again, you can see here with his booster, you are going to have to train him to play out wide, but he is down as a deep line forward. And when he's down as a deep line forward, a lot of people don't like playing with deep line forwards because they come in front of the defender, but it, it's kind of busted at the moment. I had a video where I'm going to do every play style, from deep line forward to destroyer to build up to prolific winger but at the moment i feel like that the game is still finding its feet since the last update right but it's no doubt a really nice card for julian alvarez obviously he's playing with atletico madrid now strikers instinct we're probably i'll have it up on the screen what booster i'm going to finalize on him but it's a lovely card you will be out have to train up a little bit with him but again he does have a really really nice card here i'm just going to show you the build it's a very 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 tasty card seven six nine eleven seven and two and we're probably going to throw on the technique booster as well on this card. And that's going to give us the 99 or the 90 dribbling, 91 type possession. Um, I don't think you need to give him anything else. But the thing I like about this card, lads, is look at this, right? 90 finishing, 86 curl, 85 speed, 85 kick and power, and 93 balance with 97 acceleration and 95 offensive awareness. This is probably as close as you're going to get to a Mario-esque in terms of his play style, his size his strength off the ball. It's a phenomenal card, man. Honestly, there's no real weakness in this card apart from the fact that it's a deep line forward, which I know a few people can be iffy about. And then last but not least, we have Cody Gakpo. I will do, if you want to see the rest, right? We have builds for the rest of these cards as well. There's Openda. And he, again, is a fantastic card. 90 finish and 90 awareness, 94 speed, 98 acceleration, 90 balance. Insane. If you want to see that um, and the rest of these, I can drop them on, on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. Um... But yeah, this is Gakpo here as well. And again, we do have the same issue with Gakpo here that, I mean, as a prolific winger, you are going to be tied to actually having him out as a left winger. So not as a central position. And also the bigger issue is that he's on E-rating this week. But take nothing away from him. I mean, again, it's a fantastic card. Uh, soul control, he has that. Double touch, you give him flip-flap. I'll have the full list of skills to train him up. He's also got a new face and hairstyle as well since the last update. And this is kind of like a build that we could give him here. So this is with Javi Alonso, which is probably the most popular manager at the moment. And again, lads, you're, you're looking at a card like this with no real weakness, man. We're going to be giving him the agility booster. And that's going to boost up his acceleration to 95, his balance to 85, his stamina to 85, and his speed to 91. Phenomenal card. I mean, the only thing he doesn't have in the 90s that you really need in the 90s is probably balance or finishing. But 
He's very strong. He's very tall. Physically, physical contact at 82 is huge. You could slightly alter this as well if you wanted to, depending on if you're playing him. You could actually take this down a little bit here and actually train up his aerial strength. I think you get another few into that. Uh, I think you can go to, yeah, you can go to full eight. So you can actually nearly get his physical contact to 90, which is a very unique build for this card uh, if you wanted to go that route. Again, if you wanted to take off the dribbling and give him the booster technique plus one, you could give him one more into aerial and that would put it at 90. So you could go those both builds there if you wanted to. I would probably say the physical contact build is going to be very OP. Um, kind of like Hullet up front. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's just two little cheeky builds there for him. So all in all, lads, these Showtime cards are just ridiculous. You also have Evan Ferguson here who's really tasty. You've got Openda who you saw on screen. Um, there's a lot of nice cards in here. Alex Benaz there as well. But yeah, honestly, I do feel like Monday is going to shift it a little bit because I think everyone's going to go for Turam and Vieira. That's what's coming Monday uh, in the next couple of days. And let me know what you guys think. I'm struggling with the gameplay at the moment. The cards that they're bringing out just seem to be getting better and better. But yeah, everyone is going to spin for Vieira. There's no doubt about it. So that is it for just a cheeky one. We have the builds up as well. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy those. Let me know if you enjoy the design and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll chat you in the next one. Peace.